My name is Alex Carter, and I live in Annapolis, Maryland. A friend and I uh, were headed out to Bolivia. She had never been to Bolivia, and although I had been there many times before, I hadn't been there for a number of years. We were a bit concerned about the altitude, but I had been to La Paz several times before in the past, had never had any uh, indication that, that I was sensitive to altitude. Immediately, I felt something that I was tired, but of course, we'd been flying all day. The next morning, I didn't feel like getting up for breakfast. By the next afternoon, I still wasn't getting up, and my friend was concerned, as was the hotel. And uh, they sent for the doctors. My uh, rate of oxygenation was like 45, and it should be like 97. And so I was immediately admitted to the, to the clinic and uh, given oxygen. For the first two or three days, I wasn't very, I didn't know what was going on. I was on my way to a coma, and I didn't even know it. I first heard about Mrs. Carter's case from her case manager, D. My name is LaShanta Sullivan, and I'm the assistance manager here at Allianz. We immediately opened up the medical case. We sent a notification to our medical team so that they could obtain medical records, and we also set up direct billing. This customer was alone in a country that she was unfamiliar with. She also didn't speak the language. And so it was really important that she was reassured that she had support from someone in the US. And Dee was that support system for her. Dee was able to preempt any concern that I had is the way it is. She'd say, well, don't worry. We'll have someone take you. No, he'll take you to the airport. And before I even knew what questions to ask, she knew what, uh, what I needed. So many things that she said that she could do and that she did do, I was amazed. They were my only friends for seven days. It was, <laughs> it was really uh, amazing. I was in the hospital for seven days. I kept saying, is this gonna cover all this? Is this insurance gonna, she said, don't worry, everything's okay. They were able to, and I don't know who tr translated, who got them, they got the hospital bills. I, d I don't know how they did it, or even all of the things that they did do. So Dee made outbound calls uh, to the customer on a daily basis, sometimes twice, maybe even three times per day. And she also kind of speed things up a bit. She would conference our nurse in with the doctor directly, as opposed to going through a phone tree or being transferred. She obtained that doctor's phone number so that she could have our nurse on the line and immediately reach out to the physician for updates. The day before we, I was discharged, Walter from Allianz gave me a rundown of what would happen the next day. We were leaving at four in the morning. Got me from pillar to post. He knew all the airports. Walter was with me the whole way. Everywhere I went, he checked my lung function. And if I needed oxygen, he gave it to me. And he delivered me right into the arms of my son in my dining room. When my team and I are able to help someone, such as Mrs. Carter, it really shows us how important our job is each day and how we support our customers while they're traveling. I told them they saved my life. I told Dee that she was my new best friend because she's the only one that talked to me for seven days. I mean, I don't even know what to expect from insurance companies usually, but this was more than I ever expected. Everything was taken care of. I didn't have to, I didn't have to deal with the administration. I didn't have to deal with um, even looking at the bill. This was so easy and so effective and so comforting that um, it was amazing.